Hello, everyone. In our last video, we have shown you how to create tasks for INSDgram. This video, we will mainly show you how to create tasks for Pinterest in following like. First, check Pinterest. We have added an account category below Pinterest before. In order to show you better, we will delete it first and then click Add button. Name it and then click OK. Here are also two ways to add accounts. One is to click Add button, in the pop-up form, you can bind proxy for the account. The other way is to click Import button to import your account from a CSV or text file in your PC. Check the account category, on the right side, you can view all accounts you just added. Click these two accounts on we just added, and then click start button to check the details of these accounts. The yellow shows the program is checking this account. If there is no detailed information returned, it means checking the account failed. It may be your network error causes that or any other reasons. See, the second account has been checked failed. Let's check the first account. It is login the account. After login the account successfully, it will scrape the detailed information of the account and then shown it on the program interface. After adding account successfully, now let's create task for it. On the task manager tab. Here you can view all tasks you created before. Select all tasks node, and then click add button to add a task for Pinterest. Name it and then click OK. On the pop-up form, here select Pinterest. Right click module, and then you can view all modules. You can add any module you need. Add an account module first and the data from it is necessary for other modules to run. On the account module settings interface, check the account that we need. Add a search pins module, and the function of it is to search pins for the account. Input the keyword to search, if there are multiple keywords, please use comma to separate them. When the task is running, it will take one keyword to search randomly. Input the search amount you need. Here, we will input 3 for it. For the timeout option. If this module still does not run successfully in the limited time, it will stop automatically to avoid the task being stuck on this step. Usually, the default value for it will be OK. Add a like module. The function of it is to like the pins we searched out in search pins module. Select the account to like. Set the interval time for it. The program will take a value which is between the max value and min value randomly to run. Input run times you need. If you do not know how many times it needs to run, you can click the run all source option on, and then the program will automatically calculate the running times via the account amount you select and the pin amount it searched out. Here, you can select the result to return if the data from this module will be used to other modules behind it. If the data from this module won't be used again, you can use the default value. Here, you can select how to use the data. Select it from the first row, from the last row or randomly. The function of this option is to select how to deal with the data which has been used. Don't delete it, delete it, move it to the last row of the data list, or move it to the first row of the data list. Add unlike module, the function of it is to unlike the pins which have been liked before in the like module. We do not know the successful times in like module, so here we will just click the run all source option on. Add a sleep module to let the task sleep 10 seconds. Now, we have finished the very simple task. Of course, if you want your task to be more complicated, you can continue to add module for it. Add a search pinners module. 
The setting of this interface is very similar with the search pins modules. So we won't introduce it again. Add a follow module. Select the pinners to follow which have been searched out in search pinners module. The setting of this interface is also very similar with the like module, so we also won't introduce it again. Add an unfollow module. Select the users to unfollow which have been followed in follow module. Set the settings like the follow module we did. Add a sleep module to sleep the task a while. And we just use it to separate different feature task module. Of course if you want to finish your task very quickly, there is no need to add the sleep module. Add a search boards module. Set the settings like the search pinners we did. Add a follow boards module. Select the search boards as the follow source. Select account to do the operation. Select run all source option when we do not know how many times we need to run. Add an unfollow boards module. Select the users to unfollow which have been followed on follow boards module. Select account to do the operation. Here, we do not know the successful times in follow module, so we will just click the run all source option on. Add a comment module behind the unlike module. The function of it is to post comment for the unlike pins. Here, select the unlike modules as the post source. Select the account to post comment. There is no comment source for us to select. So add a text module before the comment module. Here are two ways to add the comment. One is to input the comment content manually. The other way is to click the import button to import the content from your CSV or text file in your PC. Now, let's back to the comment module. Select the text module as the comment source. Click the run all source option on. Now, we have successfully created all tasks we need. Click OK to save the settings. Check the task on we just added, you can view all task basic information on the right side. Click run button to run the task. On the pop-up form, here are three run modes. One is to set how many times you want to run the task. The second is to loop the task and it won't stop until you click the stop button. The last is to set a schedule time to run the task. In order to save time, we will let the task to run only once. After set all, click OK. Now, the task is running. We can see that the like module is like the second pin and then the third pin. Now, it is running the comment module.
On the debug window, we can see that it is posting comment automatically. After finished posting comment, it goes to the sleep module. Here, you can view how many sleep time it is left. Now, it is running the other modules. Now, we have finished running the task. But the last three modules have failed to run. Maybe there is no search result for the keywords we inputted. Now, let's reset the failed modules. Delete the keyword which does not search out any result in the running. In order to save time, here we will delete the modules which have finished running successfully. After set all, click OK. Click run button to run the task again. Now, we can see that two results have been searched out. That is all for Pinterest, thanks for watching.